Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a small little follow-up video, a little fun little bonus thing that I wanted to make that is that came out of uh, uh, the previous video that I made about Use Reducer, why I love Use Reducer. When I was making this little application, making the demo code, I actually had to put together a fun little uh, bare bones router. I don't want to download React Router or Reach Router or anything like that. It was a little bit too heavy for me. All I wanted to be able to do is have the hash the URL change, and then have my UI update when that hash changes as well, which I thought would be pretty easy to do just using basic DOM APIs. So uh, let's look to the code. So what I made here was this pretty, pretty basic app where I could have a version of the login component that uses use state, use state, and one that uses use reducer. And all this is doing is kind of changing the uh, hash and the URL. And what I did to make that actually work is make a very, very bare bones router where I have use state, which is taking the initial value of window.location.hash, which is hash and set hash. I'm using use effect, have side effects in my function component. I'm having it only run once because I don't really want it to rerun because there's nothing really that needs to have it be updated. And then here I'm setting up an event list around the window of uh, hash change. So when the hash changes, I'm gonna then update the set hash. Then I'm pretty much just gonna use this value as a value that I can then kind of like check off of. So if hash equals use state, go here. If it's use reducer, go here. And then here is zero, I'm actually doing the routing. And I tweeted this out last week and I got some good feedback, which was like, hey, this could be a custom component, uh, a custom hook. And people were absolutely right. And what I want to do with you today is make that custom hook. And if you don't know, a custom hook is essentially a function that has to start with the word use. So I'm going to call this custom hook use location hash. And kind of what I'm going to do here, this is going to be a very underwhelming video, but one that I hope you'll enjoy, is I'm going to take these lines of code, cut it, go here, and then return hash. So now when I say uh, const hash, it goes use location hash, and save that, everything works just as it did before. That is kind of the real magic of React hooks, is custom hooks that I can just make a own custom hook. And even here, I can see that actually I made a bug where actually I want to have this event listener be unmounted when uh, the component is unmounted. So I'm going to go here, make a function, say on hash change equals this. And then when you return a function from a use effect hook, it'll be called when the component that's using that hook is unmounted. So remove that listener, hash change, on hash change. So I fixed that. And what's great about this is now anywhere that I want my application, I can use this use location hash. So I want to be really daring. And this is really scary for me. I can actually extract this to my fun little utils file. And I shall uh, export this as well. I need to import Use state, use effect from React, save that. Let's be sure to import use location hash from utils. So still works, which is great. But now if I want to, I can kind of use this in my uh, use state if I want to. So, uh, use location hash. If I want to, I can just go here. Again, just for fun, just, you know, show it. So let's actually replace this with the hash. So we'll go to use state. There it is, use state. So now I can actually use this custom hook wherever I want my entire application. That's kind of the quick and dirty view about how to make a very quick custom hook, but one that I will probably end up using many times over as I make more of these videos. I need a simple way to navigate between different states of this component. You can kind of think about any ways of using custom hooks. If you have other DOM APIs that you want to use in your React component, hooks are a great way to kind of wrap that functionality around and kind of use it as you would any other React hook. So very, very, very powerful feature. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. It was quick, but I think it was definitely worthwhile sharing with you because I think there is some things in here that maybe you were not really aware that you could do. Hooks are pretty damn sweet. If you're not already a subscriber, please do smash that subscribe button. If you're a super smash brother, 
and I will see you again in the next video. Talk to you then.